Can you believe this? In Japan, scientists have legally approved the creation of human animal hybrids. This isn't some movie plot. This is real. This isn't science fiction. This is science fact. These embryos, not only are they allowed to be developed, they are allowed to be born. That means that there could be living creatures right now carrying human cells in their bodies. Imagine a pig or a sheep, but part of its body is human. We're literally creating animal-human hybrids. And you know what comes to mind when I think of this? All of the genetic tinkering that Enki, the Anunnaki Sumerian god, was doing before he was able to uh, create Homo sapiens sapiens using his own DNA. Initially, they were making a whole bunch of scientific uh, mixing of hybridization programs with a whole bunch of uh, tests. Technically, the one with the bipedal hominid was only the one that came out best. But in all ancient mythology, we have the stories of centaurs, mermaids, the Minotaur, the one that was half bull. While these scientists have to keep checking on the brain to make sure it doesn't become too human, they literally have a rule that if the brain becomes more than 30% human cells, they have to stop the experiment. But that should, uh, that sounds like a plot from a dystopian novel, right? A line we were never supposed to cross. But here's the biggest reveal. The reason they are doing this is not to make monsters, it's to save lives by growing human organs, kidneys, livers, even pancreases inside animals. They hope to end organ shortages forever. But these animals could one day become living factories for organs that are a perfect match for sick patients. But my question is this. Is this humane and moral? Because this is like, is this the future of medicine? Or have we just stepped into a dangerous new world where we blur the line between human and animal forever? Are we creating those hybrid animals like the Sumerian gods did? So right now, who's to say that there aren't these secret labs that are not just doing this for the organs? And regardless for the organs or not, you're still using sentient beings to produce organs like organ factories. So I, for me, that's like animal cruelty. So who's to say that there are not these secret labs? that behind closed doors, away from the eyes of the public, that are going beyond the rules, creating hybrids. So basically, they're making animals that are smarter, stronger, and more human than we ever imagined. So are we living in the real life?